Today we're testing out in an older car this FM wireless car kit that supposedly you can use with your iPod and Android or whatever phone. Get it to play music. This could save me hundreds of dollars if it works. I don't know if it will. It cost me around $15, $20. I bought it. I haven't even opened it, but we'll see how easy it is to work with. Interested? Here we go. We're in the car. Here's the kit. Here's the center console. Here's where I'm going to plug into it. Let's take it out of the box and see what we got. Looking. Fits in the palm of your hand. There's a little music icon. Channel B phone. Okay, here's the user's guide. So I guess the first thing we'll do is plug this guy in and we'll probably have to have the car going. Okay, there's going to be a bit of a challenge here because here's where the unit is and here is where the radio is. Hear that sound? I'm up to volume 28. I guess the unit is locked on to 107.7. Even though there is a channel 107.7 locally. Channel without broadcast. Adjust your car radio to white space without broadcast. The pre reference clear rustling. Kind of like this. The problem is, I live a, you know, in a big metropolitan area and Pretty much every station's taken. Oh, I think I got one. 95.7 for me. Click the channel button. Rotate the phone key to increase or decrease the frequency to the left or right and adjust the frequency to the same as the car radio. 95.7. Okay, we're gonna plug in the iPod. Okay, it says I'm connected. It's trying to sync. That's not good. Okay, it's working for with the iPod, which is good. That's what we wanted. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down because I don't want any copyright strike here. But I'm trying to figure this out. All right, so that's a bit annoying. It's playing the song that I last had on the iPod before I shut it down. It's nice and clear though. And the volume is it's very good, very good. So that works. Okay, that plays whatever's on your iPod when you turned it in. That advances it to the next song if you turn it to the right. If you turn it to the left, one notch, you'll get the previous song. Go back. So now we're gonna shut the car off and see what we need to do as far as setting up for the wireless. Okay, we've removed the iPod cord and now we've got the smartphone. I've gone into settings, pair a new device. It's looking for C68, got it. Allow access to your contacts, call history, just say pair. Okay, currently connected. Now let's see if we can play some music on Pandora. Okay, we're on Pandora now. Phone, volume. I don't wanna get a strike. So you can see that it's playing. Let's get it really low. Wouldn't even come in. So you have to adjust the volume on here. And then it just comes in great. It works on Pandora 2, wirelessly. We're gonna try calling somebody, see if that works. Okay, this is the wireless phone. This happens to be my wife. Let's see if she answers. Hello? Hey. Okay, I'm doing hands-free on your phone, or on the new unit here, the wireless new unit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and you know what? You can also do, uh, you can plug in your iPod Classic. There's a little constraints there, and you can do wireless from your phone, any list you happen to have. We just tested okay. Pandora, and Pandora works too. Oh, nice. It's certainly a lot less wiring 
than doing a hundred dollar job to try to take this all apart and put it in there. And the sound is really good. Yeah. Okay. Happy present to you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Bye. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, I wanted to be fair here, and I wanted to show that in the newer iPod, it works. So I've got this here, and I'm going to go back to music, and no copyright infringement here, just... Okay, so you can see that it works just like the smartphone. It's wireless. I wouldn't charge it through here. I would charge it separately, like right there, with a separate charger. If I think if you go through here, it's going to override it. So it works great. It's definitely a five-star product. Outstanding. The quality audio is through the roof. And if you hit this little bass button like they have, it brings up the bass. The other thing is, is you can certainly adjust all the regular buttons as if it was a radio station so it works for i classic ipod plugged in it works for anything with the bluetooth and it works for a smartphone thumbs up and comments always appreciate it. thanks for watching this is a really great product for the price you can't beat it this is a honest review i didn't get paid anything to do this review and I'm really happy with this product. The two things I would change if I could is if you plug this in, it would be nice if you could scroll through and just use this as if it was plugged into a speaker. But this is not a unusual issue with this tech trying to plug in anywhere in any car. And the other thing is, is I wish this thing was just turned a little bit like 45 degrees so I could see the stuff better. But once you've got that channel set, then you don't have to look at that again. And it's all automatic. Thumbs up and comments. Always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like tech reviews, making and breaking things, inventions, cosplay, check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what you're going to see.